Next, let's create the information displayed in the interface. This includes the real-time displayed score value and key count, as well as prompt guidance. First, let's display the current score and key collection progress in the interface. Click Custom tab in the top left corner. Open Manage UI Control Groups. Click UI Control Group Library, add an UI Control Template. Select Text Box. Change the text content to score value. Insert the variable, click on the player, and select score value. Adjust the position and size of the text box. Finally, click Save as Template. Rename it to Text Box Score Value. Now, let's add another UI Control template. Select Text Box, change the text content to Key Count, insert the variable, click on the player, and select Key Count. Adjust the position and size of the text box. Finally, click Save as Template, rename it to Text Box Key Count, Open Interface Layout. Click Add UI Control. Add the two finished text boxes to the interface. Now, the prompts for player score and key collection progress are done. In addition, we need to provide the player with prompts for what to do next and for the display of stage completion conditions. Let's first create the prompt information, then set the trigger points for these prompts. Click UI Control Group Library, add an UI Control Template. First, let's create a pop-up for the Wonderland's Completion Condition prompt. Select Pop-up, change the title to Stage Completion Rules. Change the text content to collect all 30 gold coins to clear the stage. Make sure you collect every coin. Adjust the position and size of the text box. Disable Initial Visibility. Finally, click Save as Template. Rename it to Pop-Up Wonderland Description. Next, add an UI Control Template for the Stage 3 prompt. Select Text Box. Change the text content to find a weapon to gain combat abilities so that you can defeat the enemies ahead. Set the background color to Black Translucent Adjust the position and size of the text box and center the text. Disable initial visibility. Finally, click Save as Template, rename it to Text Box Find Weapon, add another UI Control template for the Stage 4 prompt, select Text Box, change the text content to You need a key to open the gate. Follow the same steps as the previous prompt. And finally, rename it to text box Find Key. Next, add the finished pop-up and text boxes to the interface. Open Interface Layout. Click Add UI Control. Now, you've created all the needed prompt information. We'll also need to set up a trigger point in the scene so that when the player arrives, a prompt will be displayed. First, set the trigger point. Go to the Object Placement screen, create an empty model, disable Native Collision, add a Collision Trigger component to it. Select Character for Effective Target. Set the center Y axis value of the trigger area to 1. Set the scale factor X axis value to 4. Set the Y axis value to 2. Set the Z axis value to 8. Next, let's create a node graph so that the prompt is displayed when the player enters the trigger area. Open Miliastra Sandbox, right click and select Create Node Graph, rename the node graph to Pop Up Wonderland Description. When the player enters the collision trigger, the UI control group state is changed to enabled. When the player leaves the collision trigger, the UI control group state is changed to disabled. 
The target player has to be obtained via the get the player entity to which the character belong node. Select pop-up Wonderland description for the UI control prefab index. Save the node graph. Mount the node graph on the newly created empty model. You've now set up the first set of prompt triggers. Now, let's move on to the start of stage three using use the same method. Create an empty model. And disable native collision. Add a collision trigger component to it. Select character for effective target. Set the center y-axis value of the trigger area to 1. Set the scale factor x-axis value to 6. Set the y-axis value to 2. Set the z-axis value to 4. Similarly, create a node graph that displays a prompt when the player enters the trigger area. Open Miliastra Sandbox. Copy the node graph pop-up Wonderland description. Paste the node graph and rename it to text box Find Weapon. Select text box Find Weapon for the UI Control Prefab Index. Save the node graph. Mount the node graph on the newly created empty model. Finally, move to the wooden gate and create another empty model with native collision disabled. Add a collision trigger component to it. Select character for effective target. Set the center y-axis value of the trigger area to one. Set the scale factor x-axis value to four. Set the y-axis value to two. Set the z-axis value to six. Create another node graph that displays a prompt when the player enters the trigger area. Open Miliastra Sandbox. Copy the node graph text box, find weapon. Paste the node graph and rename it to text box find key. Select text box find key for the UI control prefab index. Save the node graph. Mount the node graph on the newly created empty model. Now you've placed all the necessary prompt information.